Hello everyone, welcome to the session. I am Srinivas. Today we are gonna see conservation of energy. So in this topic we are going to see total energy of the system is conserved. Total energy of the system is conserved in conservation field. In conservation field. Now for this what we have to do we have to prove that total kinetic energy and the potential energy sum of kinetic energy and the potential energy is constant is constant we have to prove this one we have to prove this one total uh, sum of kinetic energy and potential energy is constant now let us see how can we solve this one now let us assume let us assume the motion of particle in conservative field the motion of particle in conservative field conservative field what type of field i am assuming conservative field now let us see if a bar is the force if a bar is the force acting on a particle if a bar is the force acting on a particle now that force is displaced the subject or particle from distance from distance a to b from distance a to b now what i am doing i am applying some force on the particle on the particle now this particle is moved from a to b a to b now the the resultant work done on the particle the resultant work done on the particle can be written as like this see here w equal to w equal to integral integral now the starting and final points starting and final positions of the particle is what a to b integral a to b that means what we are doing we are going to find out total work done on the particle throughout the journey from a to b so a to b and already we know that how can we write work done work done w is equal to scalar product of force and displacement now we have to write there f bar dot d r bar f bar dot d r bar so this is the resultant work. Now we have to solve this one. See how can we write F according to Newton's second law rate of change of momentum. Right? What is force rate of change of momentum? dp by dt. dp by dt. So how can we write momentum? Momentum can be written as P is equal to mv bar. Now substituting here, then we'll get m into dv bar by dt m into d e bar by dt now let us assume this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 now again let us see how can we define velocity velocity can be written as defined as v bar is equal to rate of change of displacement that can be written as dr by dt dr by dt so, so from this equation what we get there so dr bar is equal to v bar into dt dr bar is equal to v bar into dt so assume this is equation number 3 now substitute 3 and equation number 2 and 3 in equation 1 in equation 1 see there what we get substituting all these two equations in equation 1 then what we get there w equal to integral a to b and uh, well in place of f bar we have to write m into d v bar by dt into dr position vector is what v bar into dt so this one this one cancel and mass is constant writing outside and integral a to b and we have the term v bar into t v bar and we know that integration of x to dx how can we write integration of x to dx 
integration of x dx can be written as x square by 2. Integration of x dx is equal to x square by 2. Now, apply z law, what we get there? w is equal to, hmm, what we get there? m into, and this can be written as v square by 2, and here we get points a, b. Finally, we will write w is equal to m into hmm, 1 by 2 v b square minus 1 by 2 v a square. Now w equal to 1 by 2 of m v b square minus of m v a square. So this is the resultant equation. So very important equation for us. Resultant equation and very important equation. The work done by a force on a particle. The work done by a force on a particle is equal to change in its kinetic energy. This is called work energy theorem. This theorem is also called work energy theorem. The force, the force, the work done by a force acting on the particle is on the particle is equal to change in its kinetic energy change in its kinetic energy this is called work energy theory. work work energy theorem this is called work energy theorem w is equal to of m v b square minus of m v a square so this is the work energy theorem Again, this is equation number 4, equation number 4, okay, right, now let us see here, now if, if, if force F bar, if force F bar is a, is a conservative force, conservative force then already we know that if f bar is a conservative force how can we write curl of f bar curl of f bar will become zero curl of f bar is equal to zero if anything any vector is a conservative then we can write curl of that vector is equal to zero then del cross f equal to zero so this can also be written as f bar is equal to minus f bar equal to minus del u f bar is equal to minus del u f bar is equal to minus del u where u is called potential energy where u is called potential energy potential energy where u is called potential energy see this can also be written as this equation f bar is equal to minus i cap dou u by dou x dou u by dou x so similarly minus otherwise you have to take minus common and j cap dou u by dou y dou u by dou y similarly k cap do u by do z do u by do z and the next thing is but the position vector but the position vector how can we write position vector here so r bar is equal to i cap x j cap y and k cap z and similarly from this equation d r dash equal to d r dash equal to how can we write this one i cap dx j cap dy k cap dz k cap dz so assume here this is equation number 5 earlier we assumed the equation 4 and this is equation 5 and this is what equation 6 now from equation 5 and 6 from equation 5 and 6 see the from equation 5 and 6. See there, how can we write? 
एफ बार डॉट डी आर बार एफ बार डॉट डी आर बार साउथ इनवर्ट एफ बार डॉट डी आर बार माइनस आई इन टू डो यू बाई डो एक्स प्लस जे इन टू डो यू बाई डो वाई प्लस के इन टू डो यू बाई डो जेड डॉट हियर वी कैन राइट डॉट हियर वी कैन राइट आई के आप डी एक्स प्लस जे के ऑफ डी वाई प्लस के क्या डी जेड and we have dot product between them so finally after taking dot product what we get there f bar dot dr bar equal to f bar dot dr bar equal to so we get minus of minus of do u by do x into dx do u by do y into dy plus do u by do z into tz so this is also equal to f bar minus dr bar is equal to minus du minus du assume this is what equation number 7 equation number 7 so from equation 1 we know that what is equation 1 w equal to integral a to b f bar dot dr bar substitute substitute 7 in 8 7 in 8 so what we get the sir substitute 7 in 1 7 in 1 what we get the so integral a to b a to b and we have to substitute minus b so what we get finally w is equal minus right outside and the a to b du and we get the minus A B finally we we'll get minus U B plus U E where W is equal. So this is equal to assume equation number eight. So that is the number equation eight. Now so already we got equation number four. What is equation number four? equation number 4 from equation 4 and 8 so what is equation number 4 w equal to 1 by 2 m v b square minus 1 by 2 m v a square so what is the equation number 8 let us equate equation 4 and 8 equation 4 and 8 so what is that minus u v Plus u a. So equating these two equations, what we get there here? See here of m v b square minus one by two m v a square. That is equal to minus u b plus u a. So readjusting this equation, what we get here? One by two m v a square plus u a. So that is equal to one by two m. v b square plus u b and here we can write this one as t a that is what kinetic energy at point a and here we can write u a potential energy at point a that is equal to t b plus u b so this can also be written as t plus u equal to constant t plus u is equal to constant see the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy is constant throughout the motion of particle from a to b wherever you take wherever the position you take that is that the total energy of the system is always equal to constant value for example If we take here point A and here point B is there, right? Now, if assume point C here, here we get the t plus u value, some value that is constant. If we take here D point D, here at this point, kinetic energy, sum of kinetic energy and potential energy also constant. Both are same. 
both the same values will get so somewhere it may be potential energy more than kinetic energy somewhere kinetic energy is greater than the potential energy so whatever it is the total energy remains constant that should be in conservative field that should be in conservative field so in a conservative field if a particle move from a to b in the conservative field if a particle move from a to b if a particle move from a to b the sum of kinetic and potential the sum of kinetic and potential energy remains constant okay the total energy of the particle in in same at all point this is called conservation of energy see there if you move from a to b we have some energy if you move from b to a we have some energy total energy remains constant so especially in conservative field especially conservative field the work done on the particle is independent of path of the particle the work done on the particle is independent of path of the particle therefore total energy remains constant if it is if it is non conservative field if it is non conservative field the energy the total energy required to move from a to b is may not be equal to move from b to a may not be equal to from b to a so therefore what happen how can we write w a b may not be equal to w b a w a b may not be equal to w b a so this is all about conservation of energy so for example if you take aeroplane if it aeroplane is in the sky if the aeroplane is in the sky so what happen let us see if the aeroplane is in the sky if the aeroplane is in the sky for example assuming so if it is moving in the sky it has potential energy and as well as kinetic energy it has potential energy and as well as kinetic energy but the total energy remains constant kinetic energy plus potential energy is constant okay so now what happen so if if this aeroplane is landed if this aeroplane is landed on the ground it is still in running way runway it is still in runway in the time there is no potential energy it has only kinetic energy at the time the total energy is equal to total energy is equal to kinetic energy of aeroplane in this case total energy is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy when the aeroplane is in the sky but when the aeroplane is in is on the runway at the time the total energy is equal to the kinetic energy but the total energy remains constant always so so this is all about conservation of energy topic okay thank you very much